Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we'll discuss how we can create a web object in the PTP web environment using ADT. So in previous video, you have seen we have created a new user on the SAP web BTP environment and how we can connect with that SAP BTP environment with our backend ADT system. So now in this video, we'll try to cover how we can create the <coughs> ABAP packages within this BTP ABAP environment. So if you want to create any new development or you can say any new program or new report so to do this first we have to create the package so as you can see in this we have this we have some all some packages are already there so for our purpose we'll try to create a new package Just click on new. Select package. Next. Now it will ask for the name. So let's say I'm just putting Z demo ABAP. package for ABAP. next And here, don't forget to mention the super package. So here in this case, we have ZLOCL super packages there. So do the next. And now you can see one transport request has been created. along with this or we can create a new transport if you want so here we'll try to create a new transport so i'm putting a name app objects and do click on finish okay So now you can see in the left side one new package has been created with name YDEMOABAP. So now what we'll do, we'll try to add this newly created ABAP package in our favorite package node. So how we can do the same? Click on favorite package node and there is a button called your add package just click on the same try to find your package yeah as you can see we have we found our package so just select the same and press ok so now you can see in the favorite packages our new packages is now getting visible and if you do the drop down, then you can see we don't have any object as of now. So in this demo, you saw how we can create 
your own package where you will do your development so in the next video we'll see how we can create the list report using fury ui element and in that report we'll use wrap model where we'll use the cds ui annotations so this would be the uh, i'll show you what would be the uh, so in this list report we'll see how we can create the input parameter like this you can see we have input parameter oral status customer id and ad agency okay and we have some line items as well as you can see blue in the blue on the screen so this will cover in the next video so bye bye hopefully you will like this video and come again with a new video so stay tuned thank you